In every part of the U.S., COVID deaths are starting to drop. The virus has been receding in the country for about three weeks, but since deaths are a lagging indicator, the numbers have remained near record levels. So what does it all mean? Well, here to discuss is Bloomberg News' Miami Bureau Chief, Jonathan Levin. Hey, Jonathan, thanks so much for, for joining us. It's really great to have you on the show. And finally, a little bit of good news when it comes to the COVID-19 pandemic. Um, how are you reading into the numbers that we're seeing? Yeah, good to be with you, Tim. Yeah, in, in, in a sense, it's not entirely surprising, right? As you said, about three weeks ago, uh, the numbers started dropping demonstrably uh, across the country. Hospitalizations started coming down, albeit from very, very high peaks. And of course, that a very important seven-day average in cases started dropping. Now, deaths, as we, we know, are a lagging indicator, but it's also sort of the indicator. It's it, it's why uh, our reaction uh, to this public health crisis has been what what it is. So you know we really want to see what is the actual fallout from from the cases, and it takes some time to to, to really appreciate that uh, because a uh, you know it can it can take weeks from infection until we actually see the yeah. outcomes. And, and B, uh, you know, it takes it takes quite a bit of time, often oftentimes for the states to actually disclose uh, these fatalities. So so what is, Jonathan, the reason that we're seeing this this decline across the board right now? It's it's too early to, to see this being as a result of the vaccine, right? That's that seems to be mostly true. Look, there. Are, I think most epidemiologists would would admit there are still a lot of mysterious things about this virus and viruses in in general. It seems to have moved across the the U.S. and indeed the world in this sort of wave like shape, and we really haven't gone a quarter without a surge somewhere in in the United States, right? So just as soon as deaths started dropping off, uh, you know, in that terrible uh, first uh, episode in the Northeast, cases started surging in the Sun Belt. Mm. And just as soon as they started to ebb in the Sun Belt, they started to pop up in uh, sort of the Great Plains and, and the Midwest in what became uh, the the last uh, and and in some ways most dramatic surge that we've that we've just been through. So, um, you know, in a sense, it's it's a characteristic of of the virus that it that it ebbs and flows, and it does. Uh, for sure have something to do with the way people behave, right? When things get really, really bad, even even people who we might classify as deniers, mm. they start they, they start paying attention when they see what's happening to their friends and neighbors and family members. Yeah, hard to be a denier when, you know, this is, I imagine, literally touched every person's life here in the United States. Um, Jonathan, I, 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 I gotta ask you uh, just about the terrible numbers that we saw in January, 95,500 COVID-related deaths. It's, it's a, it's a mind-blowing figure. Um, we are here in the United States. Uh, it, it certainly feels like things are getting better, but at the same time, after a month like January, what does that tell us? Yeah, certainly. Well, I mean, I mean, what it tells us is that we need to be very careful going forward, right? It's it's a it's a very optimistic time in in a certain sense because the vaccines are rolling, but they're rolling at a pace of about one point three. Uh, 1.3 million per day, which is is just not enough to get us totally covered. But before, you know, this this terrible thing possibly starts to rear, rear its ugly head again. The hopeful thing is, you know, uh, health uh, professionals across the country are getting it into the into the arms of the people that that need it the most. And so, while it's probably likely that we're going we're going to see uh, more uh, more COVID nineteen cases in the future, and and the trend line will will shift once again. We're hopeful that the you know the ultimate indicator, the the fatalities, are not going to be what they have been in the past. Bloomberg Miami Bureau Chief Jonathan Levin. Hey Jonathan, thank you as always for your time. Um, always great to have you on the show.